Hey there, it's me, Red Knight, and welcome back to the hunt for the pearls of the sea. And today we're going to actually get two of them in two completely different spots, so let's have a look. Now, as per last time, I actually placed down every single spot there. Now, last time I got this one up here by the actual hut itself, so that was the first time. That's where I got my first pearl of the sea. So I'm going to try this one again, and this time we didn't actually get a pearl of the sea. So I've got three of the actual fillets. I've got jam, I've got a bracelet, and a wooden plank. Okay, that's kind of cool. I like that one. So a five diamond net gave me a nice return to a certain extent. Now, now, considering that if you use diamonds to actually get those other items, it's not bad as a return. Two fillets there, jam and an ore. But two empty spots. Hmm, not so good. Right, as we move on around the game, we keep checking the different spots and hopefully I will get something wonderful. We got a deed there, we got a screw, axe, okay, nails, jam again. So I seem to be lucky on the jam today. Last time it was syrup. So syrup and jam, I wonder what my game is telling me. Expansion materials again there, some nice mine tools as well. So those ones are actually not too bad. So the return is not that much of a problem this time. Okay, I'm kind of happy with what I'm getting, but it's still not the pearl of the sea. All right, more ores, more saws, more fillets. Hmm, okay. But this is a lot of diamonds, but is it actually worth it, I wonder? Well, well let's keep going around. You never know, maybe we will get a pearl of the sea. And if we do, then, oh my God, we got it. Mm, mm. That is number three. That's my third one in my collection and some more battles there as well. Yeah. So that's that bottom slot there. You can see it there. So one more time. This is that pearl I just got there. So all the way down there at the bottom in that little deep area of the water. Very, very nice indeed. So you need to be focusing on that one. So that's two areas so far that have given me pearls. Oh, yes. Oh my god, number two. Yeah. Okay, so good. Two spots there. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. So in total, that's three spots that have actually given me pearls so far. Now, I'm going to place the nets back down in these two locations again. And then fingers crossed, maybe next time they will give me some more pearls as well. Now, I've got a bit of a problem now. My storage is full up, so I'm going to collect all of these rewards that it's about to give me. So we put some of those into storage, and there you go. It's taken me over to the 2,600 mark. So these ones I can't actually collect. Diamonds, maps there as well, some more fish fillets. Those ones are going to have to wait in storage while I actually go and sort myself out. But let's have a look at what they are anyway. So some more mine tools there, some more fillets, which is okay. So not really a pearl of the sea from these ones. Well, that's not so good. And how about the last one? Is it going to be something there? No. More diamonds. Okay, I've got some diamonds anyway. So it seems so far that the actual pirate ship has given me more diamonds than it has actually pearls of the sea. So these two locations here, okay, they gave me the ones that I wanted. And that one last time up there by the hut was good as well. But this time, not so good. Now, the first time I laid down all of the nets, okay, the bottom two had nothing, just the hut. This time I laid down all nets again, the hut had nothing but those other two. So it seems to be random. Now, that's if I lay down nets everywhere. What I'm going to do next time is try something a little bit different. I'm going to mix and match. Now, I've got some of the duck traps and I've got some of the lobster traps as well. I've also got some regular nets. Now I wonder, if you mix and match, does it increase your odds? And that's what I'm going to try and do next time. So I'm going to be placing down some of the regular nets and the actual regular traps within this whole pond area. But I'm also going to be placing down some of the mystery nets as well. So I put down two of them at the moment. So in the two spots that I found actually piles of the sea. So I wonder if I actually place down other items as well, will it increase my chances? Because you never know. Sometimes if you do everything, you get nothing. But if you do one or two, maybe even three, in this case with the three lucky spots, I may just get something better. So we are going to test this theory now. We got some more nets being made there. We got some more traps. We got some more nets that I could produce as well. But in this case, I'm going to produce just the actual nets. So I got nine mystery nets there in storage, and I'm going to leave those, but not use them this time because the return is not so good. 
So here we go, we lay down a duck trap, we place down another one there, and then another one there. So while I'm waiting for these nets, I can be collecting these resources. Now I'm actually going to leave those nets there until they actually cycle through, but I will be collecting the resources from the other traps. Uh, will that affect it? I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. So fingers crossed here that it actually does give me something more beneficial, but you never know. All right, well, let's go and have a look at those pearls of the sea. So in total now, that's four of them that I've got. And I want to actually go and place them in the town area on my beach. So we've got two there already, as you can see. So we need to make space now for the other two. And I'm happy. So during this actual birthday period, I've gained three new pearls of the sea. Now, up till now, I've spent quite a few diamonds already just doing the occasional one randomly in the actual pirate ship space. And that hasn't been really that good. And it seems through these two attempts of actually doing 12 and 12 that the three spots have been identified that seem to be giving me the pearl. So we're going to try those ones again. But that will be in video number three. But in the meantime, let's just place these pearls out and don't they look gorgeous? So four gorgeous, wonderful decoration there. Yeah, I'm happy with that. I like it. Now, okay, it did cost me diamonds. Okay, the diamonds I can actually get within the game as I play through it, or I could buy them from the diamond packs, which do come with special offers sometimes. Now, I don't mind spending the diamonds on, on this activity just to help you guys out to give you an idea on where to look as well. In the meantime, I need to do my town visitors as well, but I'll get that one sorted. Okay, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully it gave you some clues about uh, where to place some of your nets. We'll test in the third video, third video, third video, the video, the video, the video, the video, if I can find or make specifics, but I'll let you know that one next time. Please do send me some mail in the post to this gorgeous email or mail address here in Japan. And don't forget my birthday is just around the corner, so birthday cards would be wonderful. Make sure you subscribe, like, share, and do comment below the video as usual. And I will see you in the next Pearl of the Sea video. Good luck, everybody, and see you next time. Bye-bye now.